something, more power. Um, in here, I did this the same idea, with just I signed it on a certain orientation, which was this, and put a swash of mutating yellowy green to orangey to yellowy green to wear back. And, and then did the um, brushwork, trying to also repeat <coughs> that length. You know, it's not something I do very often, actually. It's not my style, but I loved doing this. Um, and if that inspired you to come back and do something more in the line, in the line, in the line. Um, and as I did that, I, I felt the need, the need to put a strong vertical. And so that's another part of my handout, thinking of, do you, do you feel called? This is, this is to make you just think about composition more and more and more. So that as you did, oh, I mean, I didn't have to. It could easily be this, which is fine. But all of a sudden I thought, you know, I want a punctuation here. And I didn't make it dark and it's made it look like But I felt, yeah, give it this um, crutch over there on the, on the side. So see, see if, you know, your trained and brilliant artistic eye just says, hmm. Yeah. See if it does. See if it says, you know, I want a line here, or, or I want a line. Um, or, you know, I, mean, I didn't do anything else in here. Could be something else that we feel. It, it needs something to have, you know, knit this composition. People often say you can't really make a composition with two objects. You know, you, you need another object. And sometimes that other object isn't an object. Sometimes, I mean, it is an object. But it's sometimes it's space. It's the negative space. And you can, you can create something with just two things. You could create a composition with just one because you are, in the ways, replacement on the paper. It's, it's delineating spaces and um, maybe shadows, whatever, you know. So think about that. You can be that arbitrary with these things. You could say, OK, I'm going to take tomatoes and a rose, or I'm going to take a grapefruit half and a pear and, and an avocado or whatever. But I am going to move them in some relationship to each other either physically, you know, you can play with it physically, and or discuss it. Cre creating a composition consciously is what I, my intent is. These things have not been arranged, though they may have been arranged and played with by some of the people here at your table. Um, but if the, the whole point of what we're uh, aiming for today is uh, because it's just sort of a big point we've made every every time, even if not spelling it out in the same way, is to be to be very very conscious of why why things are placed there, how they connect to each other, um, and or contrast. And in this particular grouping, or I mean, it's not a grouping until you make it a grouping. My um, my first intent were these color harmonies, which I try to exemplify in a couple of uh, my own efforts um, where I work, and this is another, another part of the hand up, where I work from the center out, or the center out, whichever you want, but orient yourself um, with whatever it is you want, and it, it could be two three things, it could be the whole thing, but the color, sort of think of it as leaking. The color leaks both ways. The color leaks both ways. This is a second thing, by the way, sorry. Um, and then I threw in the avocado, which is to be a, kind of a, a big buttress and, you know, a contrast, but still, the colors are all there. Now, already, um, Sue and Shelby, I guess, well, Sue, but, um, there's a little, uh, lovely little vase over there um, with a blue vase that has, that is an alien. So she, if you, if you bring something else into it, fine. 
but justify it with how you paint it. Why is, you know, what does it do? What does it provide? A dark, a contrast, a, a vertical, you know you meant, but it, it should have a purpose. So this is being very conscious of what you're doing and how you're putting things together. And as Connie picked up, um, you don't necessarily have to um, move all the objects to just make a setup. You can move them with your eyes with, in your head. And that is on the other side of the paper is the other thing, Compose, working from your head. Um, I, I guess is another big point for me um, through the whole session. Even, even when we have a, a setup or whatever, it is working with your head. And maybe I should say the emphasis is working with your head, your head. When we did the interior, that's your head, your attitude, your, what you bring to your choice. Hopefully you will feel something out. You should be very conscious of what you're doing. You can use some other tricks, aside from the color thing, as though it's leaking, bleeding. Um, you can also, you could use one brush that um, just, a, you know, just a flat, just a round, just a, um, you know, preferably a little larger brush, not, not the smallest brush, but the smallest brushes to the right too. When you do something like that, a contrived thing, it, it, it also helps focus. Because you are, you're, you're developing a relationship of one thing, uh, one brush. So, there you are. Here were my efforts. Um, What's with that fruit on the beach towels? That's so cute. <laughs> well, I got a little. So I, no, I started doing, you know, I just had these pears and persimmons and whatever. And then I, um, I thought, they, I had these, they just happened, more or less, to fall like that. And I thought, they just look as though they're leaning, and then it looks like people's butt and, and looking out to the sunset. And I put a couple of destroyers in there. Why? So there's that. There is a little uh, interior to, for people to continue with. Um, if anyone wants, as Megan is sitting over there, and um, we will have we'll look at some of these interiors of your night painting. Should do a fun one. That's my night painting. Um, uh, we'll look at those later. We have wonderful interior uh, books. I brought in some, which I agree myself are wonderful. Um, Rosa brought in some, and Margetta and. Else. But anyway, some wonderful painting um, that just exploit the interior. Um, once you start thinking about interior, um, you will be surprised how, how you find it everywhere. Um, and I, I brought the uh, Charles Cheeler, which is fascinating, along with his very constructive um, uh, interiors and architectural. Very shaker too. Yeah.